let's look at naming binary acids. First, a binary acid is an acid that is made up of two elements. Okay? What we're going to be looking for is a hydrogen followed by a non-metal element such as sulfur or chlorine and iodine. Okay, but we're looking for hydrogen followed by a non-metal element. Okay, a binary acid. Okay, so here are some examples. HCl HF Okay, two examples. Binary acids. See the hydrogen followed by a non-metal element. Okay. So, to name binary acids, there's a template. Okay. The template is hydro blank ic acid. When we get ready to name these. Okay. The hydro represents the hydrogen. It doesn't matter if there's one hydrogen, two hydrogens, three hydrogens, whatever it may be. It's hydro to represent the hydrogen, blank to rep represent the non-metal element involved, followed by the suffix ic, I-C, and the word acid. So this is chlorine. The root of chlorine is chlor. So this would be called hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid, binary acid, hydrogens, followed by nonmetal element, okay. hydrochloric acid. Now let's try HF. It follows the same template, hydro to represent the hydrogen, hydro, this is fluorine, The root of fluorine is fluor, so this would be hydrofluoric acid, hydrofluoric acid. Hmm? Alright, now let's try one where instead of having the formula, we have the name. So let's say we have hydro iodic acid and we are asked to determine the chemical formula for this acid. First we recognize it's a binary acid because we see hydro blank ic acid. We see that hydro and that ic. So we know we're dealing with a binary acid. We know that there is hydrogen and then iodic is representative of iodine or iodine. So we have these two elements involved in the acid. But now we have to put the formula together. Acids, we have to look at ions. We have to look at their ion charges so that we put these together correctly. So the hydrogen ion is a plus one charge. The iodide ion is a negative one. Those are the ion charges. We do the crossing over like we did in the other binary compounds, the type 1 and type 2, so that it's charge neutral here and so it is simply HI, hydroiodic acid. Let's try one more. Let's have hydro sulfuric acid. Okay. Again, we recognize binary acid because we have hydro with the sulfix ic acid, so it's binary. We're looking at hydrogen and one other element, and we can see that it is sulfur. So we know that we are going to have hydrogens and sulfurs involved in our formula. 
but before we put them together we have to get their ion charges so that we have the correct ratio for the formula. Hydrogen is a plus one. Common charge of the sulfur sulfide ion is a negative two. Sulfide ion is a negative two. We do the crossing over again to get the correct ratio and we have H2S. Now let's check it in case if you're wondering, you know, and a little bit confused on this too. Hydrogen ion is a plus one, and we have two of those. Sulfide ion is a minus two, and one plus one minus two is equal to zero, and compounds are charged neutral. Okay, hydrosulfuric acid.